Hey, what's going on guys? It's No Shoes and we're back with another Aesop Frock Day. Today we're going to be reacting to Nickel Plated Pockets. They're suggested by Anshu the Kerr, so thank you Anshu for the suggestion. Keep coming in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, especially if you want to see more Ace on the channel every single Friday. In addition to all the other great videos we got throughout the week. But without any further ado, let's see what Nickel Plated Pockets is all about. Let's see what Aesop Rock got to say. Let's get it. Yo. All right, okay. All right, okay. Can I get a cool? That was a really interesting way to drop in with that like farty bass or whatever that was. Yo. All right, okay. All right, okay. Can I get a quarter or something? A little hungry, you know what I'm saying? All right, okay. All right, okay. I yo, need a Lucy. Walk into the store with a pocket full of nickels. In a city full of horns, jackhammers, and rape whistles. The alley cats manipulate the blocks with gutter magic. Today my heart beats only at a habit. Checking it's like my man just used to keep an octopus between his teeth. Said he could spit it with pinpoint accuracy if there was big. Okay, really interesting feel. Starts out. We get A start spitting before the drums even come in with his like syncopated kind of like amorphous flows that he uses. It's almost a little disorienting when everything starts. The drums come in, they start to give us a little bit of structure, but we're still feeling that syncopation, that like slightly askew feeling. Very fascinating, kind of like conversational intro coming in too. Let's see where this goes. Manipulate the blocks with gutter magic. Today my heart beats only at a habit. Checking it's like my man just used to keep an ox between his teeth. Said he could spit it with pinpoint accuracy if there was big. We chuckled out loud. Still the thought of it intrigued me. So now I keep a jackal under my tongue to spit with related reasoning. The earthworm turbulent murder, burnout Gerber, baby, no brainer, memoir, stardom. Alarm pardon the old buzz deader. Robert Crumb, ugly, dumb image, barely strong, barely not grimace, nearly cut cherry blood, spigot wrist back in high school. Now it's like I'm with a millipede, pedagog pirate. Yeah, interesting. We got a couple little ad libs, a little bit of some interesting layering, not super strong. Talking about Gerber babies, and I don't even know what else is happening so far in this track, man. Part of the old buzz that are Robert Crumb, ugly, dumb image, barely strong, barely not grimace, nearly cut cherry blood, spigot wrist back in high school. Now it's like I'm with a millipede, pedagog pirate, navigate city, some systems, urbanite turbines, twisted pistons, termites that infect, start drilling, there's roaches in the pillars, spill over, and crawl across commuter clean wingtips and loafers. It's the same park I built, pocket full of nickels for cigarettes. We're talking about wingtips and loafers, we're talking about shoes, we're talking about roaches being in pillars. I. I am baffled right now. It's It's got a crazy feeling to it. Maybe one of the most unique ace tracks I've listened to so far, especially with the instrumental. It's very like stuttered and sporadic, that syncopation I'm talking about. But then the we have like a ambient bed almost underneath everything. <clears throat> it's an very interesting combination where there's like very like soft elements kind of just creating a bed for everything to rest on but then the drums and the vocal are just so off the wall it like jars you into the track in a way and it affects their village. There's roaches in the pillar. Spill over and crawl across commuter clean wingtips and loafers. It's the same park I built. Pocket full of nickels for cigarettes, gum, and milk. Bitterness, love, and violence. I'm writing a petition to have smoking as a sport in the 2002 Summer Olympic Games. Wanna sign it? Now look, I shook the germs back in a cap. Can you imagine if they had a smoking sport in the Olympics? I don't. How do you even win? What's the challenge? Let, let me know. What what do you guys think would be the actual event for smoking in the Olympics? 2002 Summer Olympic Games. Want to sign it? Now look, I shook the germs, dragging a gavel, knee deep in a maggot hatchery. Operation capture flag by any means. If this means anything at all anyway, it's a riddle. Walk into the store with a pocket full of nickels. Yo, excuse me, yo, can I, can I borrow a dollar uh, or something, man. nickel? Sorry, man, I can't help you out. Or something, man. Yo, I only got enough for, like, cigarettes. All right, man, I see how it is. Walking to the store with a... That's funny, man. Dude's asking for some change. He's like, bro, I only got enough for, like, a couple cigarettes or something. I can't help you out. That's a funny response, man. Very... 
I'm, I'm blown away like that atmospheric layer underneath everything. There's really no like strong melody going on. Really doesn't even feel like we got a bass line happening right now. It's really just the drums and the vocal at the front of this beat. And the flow is just ever changing and evolving, pushing against the beat, connecting, breaking through that bar line, then leaving some space for us. Pocket full of nickels in a city full of World Trade Center victim candle vigils. There's anthrax in the mailboxes and Xanax in my tummy. There's a single Spanish female out west traveling in a country. I think the anthrax mailbox is a reference to like an old urban legend, or maybe it's something that actually happened where somebody was sending out like poison letters essentially. Pacing up the acres more than often. Well, if I make it big, I'm gonna build a skyscraper. It's holding up the piss on cloud nine egos from my corner office. I can't pull a plug on a catapult. Nope. I toss a nickel to a bump's cup. From 20 paces, thumbs up. Got 20 ways to tell you shut the fuck up. 19 of them are 24 bars long. The other one. That's dope. Got 20 ways to tell you to fuck up. To shut up. Hold up. I can't pull a plug on a catapult. Nope. I toss a nickel to a bump's cup from 20 paces, thumbs up. Got 20 ways to tell you shut the fuck up. 19 of them are 24. Great rhymes. 20 paces, thumbs up, bum's cup. Shut up. Hold up. I toss a nickel to a bump's cup from 20 paces, thumbs up. Got 20 ways to tell you shut the fuck up. 19 of them are 24 bars long. The other one goes. Shut the fuck up. That electronic daddy long leg stay grimy up in your That's funny. So 19 of them are 24 bars long. You must be referring to tracks of his or uh, or something like that. That's a cool way to say it. That's a long verse, too. Daddy long leg stay grimy up in your zoning law. Goblin villagers trying to hide behind a windmill. A jump running pig back through subway tunnels with a third rail there is while most don't try to penetrate the alligator plan. It goes back in a class throwing pencils at professors. It made the Barbarellas giggle. That's when life's pleasures were simple. Now it takes a dancing bear jumping through flaming hoops to even make them buy the godforsaken single. Thou shalt not desecrate the soothing spiral offered by a class this is like a nice kind of like punch and feel like a lot of the bars almost feel like the beginning of the next bar kind of like boom like interjects right as the last syllable of the bar preceding it like dissipates or even like right before it starts to dissipate and it really like adds this like lurching type of feeling and the way he's playing with the tone of his voice you know, we listen to people like Prof and Ren and all these different artists that got these crazy voices that can, you know, they can sing and do falsetto and they can do low and they can rap and all these different things. And Ace right here isn't doing anything nearly that like dynamic, but just the slight changes of embracing more of like a throat sound rather than hitting that higher kind of more piercing feeling when you bounce it off the top of your mouth so many different ways to play around with that very interesting desecrate the soothing spiral offered by a classic cut to vinyl find that in the bible minor saw militia fix you up how about a pyramid shaped torso with your hollow numb skull balancing on top now if you got a rocket gas mask outside of your own apartment you can pretty Safely quote Shamar. Life's ill, sometimes life might kill, sometimes prayers dwindle. Walk into the store with a pocket full of nickels. Yo, hey, up, can I dwindle and nickel? That is a great rhyme. Basically a perfect rhyme. I would not have expected that. Yo, hey, up, can I uh, and earlier in this reaction i said that we really don't have a baseline going on and that's that's a lie we we do have a baseline going on i'm i'm just losing it this song it feels like a like a, a c almost there is so many like little pieces of it just floating through but it also feels like very simple at the same time 
That atmospheric layer kind of gives a nice little bit of brightness, just barely over the top of everything. Ace's voice, it's a little bit quieter than um than I'm used to on his tracks. I'm not sure exactly how long ago this came out. I believe this is from the Nightlight album. Um or Daylight, my bad. <clears throat> and then we have this like weird farty like bass line that just kind of comes through and like charts every <laughs> for every so often on the beat and, and then it just kind of goes away for a second very sporadic the drums again they're constant enough to give structure but sporadic enough to give that off center almost uneasy feeling and then the way ace is bouncing off everything just adds that extra layer of like there's not a whole lot going on, but it's still overwhelming somehow. Yeah, the crack wars and corrupt pigs killing cats trying to crack cases. My boom box runs on a baboon heart transplant. I got a poltergeist on a leash trained by Carol Ann herself. Found so and technology ate its up button. Every move I make from a robot to pedal pressing a red button. It's Vietnam in the fuse. Yes, I run with cannibals that bite the hand that feeds because it tastes better than the food. The prickly outer shell's genetic. It helps the but it also helped to fuck up a couple of sacred friends watch a six-legged insect crawl out of the billy talking about being a cannibal you know bite the hand that feeds if it's better than what they offering you to eat why not man we got to eat something good and then we got a little bit of guitar coming in and playing around <clears throat> and it's uh Again, still pretty sporadic, but it's countering that like real farty bass in a nice way. Genetic, it helped the fence go, but it also helped to fuck up a couple of sacred friends. Watch a six legged insect crawl out of the Billy Goat beard. Watch a sick makeshift bitch threat crawl out when a filthy smoke clear. Watch the insect stinger sting threat till it's sweat a bullet. Sweat a full clip, sweat a river, dead the bullshit, sail away and wither. You're the kind of cat that rolls a pimped out caddy, drop with rings and limousine tins pumping and you insert laughter here. I wanna rap a lot of stack cheddar. I love that. The insert laughter here, just imagining it in like asterisks. And then after after he finished after they finish up for the producer, whoever's like, yo, Ace, you weren't supposed to say that, bro. <laughs> that would be funny in the studio. And I guess I'm laughing, so I guess it works. Let the bullshit sail away and wither. You're the kind of cat that rolls a pimped out caddy drop with rings and limousine tins pumping and you insert laughter here. I wanna rap a lot of stack cheddar but a fistful. But for now I'm off into the store with a pocket full of <laughs> Excuse me, man. Right, okay. That's another great rhyme. I bring fistful to Nick Ol. Again, you get the I and then the ol sound. It works very well together. I'll have to start thinking about what else rhymes with nickel on my own time. Excuse me, man. Right, okay. I borrow a dollar or something to eat. I'm All right, hungry. okay. Right, okay. I'm saying, y'all. All right, okay. Look at that. I'm homeless, man. Look at that. All right, okay. I'm for the first country, man. Sleep on clock benches. Starving. All I need is like a Lucy and like a sandwich or something, man. Squirrel. <laughs> Apparently they sleeping with squirrels. I thought I thought people be sleeping with fishes and stuff like that. Whatever it is about that sample, like I think the first of all, the sample at the end sounds a lot like Action Bronson. I would be shocked if that was actually him, but if it was, that would be awesome. Um if you guys know who vocals were used for those weird like little break sections where we were just getting this like conversational uh just like talking uh i don't even know what to consider that that's it's interesting the song is like basically just a straight verse all the way through with just these little like interruptions but they're not like super musical either it's this is a fascinating track, one that I will absolutely be listening to more.
I'll stop rambling for y'all's sake, but thank you again to Anshu for the suggestion. Keep them coming in the comments down below, especially if you want me to see more Ace every single Friday. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that bell. Much love to everybody in the No Shoes gang, and I'll see you all next time.